Hi, and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. This is the second part of a two-part video. We're looking at the roles of the nucleus, the ribosomes, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and the Golgi apparatus in protein synthesis. In the last video, we started looking at how proteins are synthesized in the cell. We began by looking at proteins which are found inside the cytoplasm, such as certain enzymes. We saw that a gene is a length of DNA on a chromosome. Genes determine the order of amino acids in a specific polypeptide. In the first stage of protein synthesis, the DNA sequence of the gene is copied into messenger RNA, or mRNA for short. The mRNA now passes through a nuclear pore into the cytoplasm and attaches to a ribosome. The ribosome now reads the mRNA sequence and attaches amino acids together in the correct order, creating the polypeptide. Now, this applies to proteins which we find inside the cell, such as enzymes. However, a large number of proteins are secreted from the cell, and good examples are hormones and antibodies. These proteins are synthesized in a different way. Just as before, the DNA sequence of the gene is copied into mRNA. Again, the mRNA leaves the nucleus via a nuclear pore. In the case of secreted proteins, the mRNA now attaches to a ribosome on the surface of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum consists of a series of flattened cavities called cisterni, surrounded by membranes. The membranes are covered with ribosomes. Now, as the protein forms on the ribosome, it enters the cisterna of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Inside the rough ER, proteins fold into their correct tertiary structure. Bonds, such as disulfide bonds, are formed, and the proteins can also have carbohydrates added to form glycoproteins. Finally, the proteins are packaged into vesicles and are carried into the Golgi apparatus. In the Golgi apparatus, proteins are further modified. For example, new carbohydrate chains can be added to the proteins. Once the proteins have passed through the Golgi apparatus, they then leave in vesicles. The proteins now have three different destinations. Some of the proteins become enzymes in lysosomes. Some of the proteins are inserted into the cell surface membrane. And finally, some of the proteins are secreted from the cell, for example, antibodies. In the exam, you might be shown a picture of a cell with a lot of rough endoplasmic reticulum. This tells you that this cell will be involved in secreting proteins. Let's finish now by looking at the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum has got no ribosomes because it does not play a role in protein synthesis. The smooth ER has a number of functions. It's involved in the metabolism of carbohydrates, for example, in gluconeogenesis. The smooth ER plays a role in the synthesis of lipids, such as phospholipids. It's also involved in synthesizing steroid hormones. Because of this, we find a lot of smooth ER in cells of the ovaries and testes, which produce steroid hormones. Finally, the smooth ER is involved in detoxifying harmful chemicals, such as ethanol and drugs. Detoxifying means breaking down into a safer form. Because of this, we find a lot of smooth ER in liver cells, since one of the roles of the liver is detoxifying chemicals. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the roles of the nucleus, the ribosomes, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi apparatus in protein synthesis. You should also be able to describe the functions of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum.